What's up, YouTube? Angry Jack, I love Rob Ricks. I am back, and I have a little bit of a story for you. Um, when I was doing the Street Warriors, uh, I met a guy named Jeff Dene. He was uh, one of the upper level guys at Upper Deck. He was kind of a mucky muck, big deal guy. And uh, had the good chance of uh, sitting there talking with him one day. I had a tour of uh, Upper Deck over there in San Diego, and we had a conversation. And they were, at the time, really, really, really trying to get the uh, girl demographic. And I don't think I've told you guys this story. I don't believe I did, but if I did, oh, I'm sorry. Brain is whatever. But um, I was sitting there one day, and we are talking, and I said, man, you know, uh, what are you guys really trying to do? He said, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get the girl demographic. I said, okay, well, I bet I can make a game. And he's like, yeah, right, you can't make a game. We've got a whole crew of people trying to bust this fucking game out, uh, you know, for, you know, damn near a year. And I said, all right, well, let me see what I come up with tonight. So I went back to the hotel room, sat down, started working my mind on some stuff, and sketched out some ideas, saw him the next morning, pitched it to him. And he's like, wow, that's a pretty interesting idea. And... Um, we parted ways. I went back home. I did some design work. I did some uh, prototyping. So the very next show I saw him, I said, dude, I got some shit to show you. So let's see if I can get this to work here and actually show you guys the, the same deal. So the game that I came up with, actually I had several games that I came up with. I'll put these to the side here for a second. Let's see. There's this one. This one. And some other ones here. I might as well show you these other ones too. I don't know if they'll show up on the camera though. Some of these have uh, bled out over the years as I printed them out. Let's see here. I guess that one's fine. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. So the concept was I made a game and it was called A Girl's Life. And I realized that as girls hit different um, milestones in their lives, their priorities and their goals shift dramatically. When they're younger, you know, they might like the, um, the, the girly things that are kind of pushed on them from society point of view. Oh, I want a pony, I want Barbie, I want this, I want that. And so I took the concept of dress up because that's kind of a reoccurring theme. I've got two daughters, and I recall when they were younger, we used to get stuff for them, and they do dress up and play with the hair and all this other good stuff. And I decided, you know, how cool would it be to basically make a game where you drawing cards and you have different clothing pieces, right? These are the accessories. This would be the outfit, and this would be just the core character, right? So this is Baby K. I think it's Baby K. Yeah, Baby K. And there's the clothing for Baby K. And then there's the accessories. How does it look when she has everything on? There you go. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know because of the lights and the glare and stuff. I'll try it this way or I will try it this way here. I'll grab the accessories and everything else here. Put it all together. So this one actually... Looks like there's four pieces that go into it when it's all said and done. Let me get something with a white backing here. And I think you will be able to see it. So as they all line up, I hope this I hope you guys can see this. It creates a full character. And there's all these points on the side for having a full outfit or whatever else. And so, you know, that was one character design. There was another one called Raven. She was a little more edgy. She had tattoos and uh, a bunch of other stuff as well. So this is Raven. Put it on the paper here like this. Let's see if we can do this here. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we will try our best, right? So there's Raven, so you can see as you take different pieces off. So that was like some earrings or something. Take this one off here. That was like the tattoos. So there she is without tattoos. And then there she is. There she is with the tattoos. So, you know, 
the concept was you start off with a younger skewer, then as you get older, you have another expansion pack that's a little bit older. You go a little bit older than that, there's another one. And then your opponents are doing stuff like the zit, right? Oh no! So the girls are competing against each other. You know, opponent woke up in the world's largest zit. She loses 10 points at the end of the turn unless she finds a way to get rid of it. And so there's a way to counter out things like zit cream, whatever. Um, and it's to kind of, you know, it was a it was a competition game. It was designed for things that girls go through. Um, you know, there was some humor that was going to be put in it. And then the real collectability aspect of it was you would have, you know, some chase cards that would be in there, kind of like the Willy Wonka, um, you know, gold uh, golden ticket. So there might be a golden ticket inside the game where they would win a one-of-a-kind Louis Vuitton bag, something of that nature. And Upper Deck thought it was really cool. Uh, in fact, they were like, yeah, we should steal this from you. We're like, you don't need to steal it from me, dude. I'll give it to you. I don't give a fuck. Just give me fucking credit for it, whatever. And uh, they passed on it. And then I think a year or two later, Mattel came out with something similar to that um, for Barbie. And I contacted Jeff and said, see, dude, I told you it was a fucking good idea. You should have jumped on it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. That was one game I came up with. Another one was I thought, how cool would it be to have a game where you build up a character, right? So here's the body, here's a head, right? Here's an arm, let's see, I guess that arm would come out here like, like that. There's an arm and there's another arm, right? So you would, if you had a full set for a character that you're, you're fighting with, you know, there's abilities and things of that nature. That was one of the characters. God, I hope you guys can see this shit, you know, with all the lights and stuff. I don't know. Some of these cards, too, they're, they're done on overhead transparencies. So, you know, I'm not sure if they're, they're not the sharpest art at this point because time has gone by. But anyway, here's another one. So this is like a big beastly guy. And what was fun is you'd be able to change it up and say, okay, well, let's take this fucker's head, put it on this guy's body, and we'll use, you know, this arm. So you can Frankenstein the shit out of something, you know? And so that was another game. And um, I can't remember what I called this fucking game. Um... I got it written down somewhere. And then the final one, see, these are really bled out. Uh, these are amazing powers. I did a superhero game. God, this is so muddy and dark now, but you might be able to see some of it. I don't know. It's so fucking... You know, there was uh, Sin. This was a cool one. And then there was... Uh, Viscerator. So I was actually making like a superhero game too. Um, but these were all games that I came up with. Um, just, you know, trying to keep busy when I was doing the Street Warriors. And I had a, I had a good 10 different games set to kind of be developed and incubated and pushed out. And we lost our uh, investors and I just kind of said, oh, well, fuck it. I guess I'll just shelf these ideas. But I wanted to share with you guys so you guys could see some of the other ideas that I was playing with at the time. All right, well, that's it. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends. Until next time.